So adult Stills disease is a systemic inflammatory disease featuring a triad of a cotodium fever, a evanescent rash and chronic polyarthritis. So there is a daily fever, a daily spikes of fever, then there is some skin rash and then the patient is having uh, some sorts of polyarthritis, chronic polyarthritis in these patients. Now the involvement of the joints include the mainly the proximal interphalangeal joint is most commonly involved in the hand that is 50% of the time, 30% of the time dist uh, the metacarpophalangeal joint and 20% of the time the, uh, the distal interphalangeal joint is also involved. Now other thing, the one uh, involvement of the interphalangeal joint more common than the metacarpophalangeal joint is a classical feature here and the involved, when the wrist joint is involved, the wrist joint is also involved in 74% of the cases the wrist joint is involved more common than any of the, the hand joints, the wrist joint is involved. When the wrist joint is involved, it is mainly a type of pericapitate type of involvement like we see here and there will be the ankylosis is more commonly seen without a significant erosion like how like in this patient so, so there is ankylosis of the the wrist joint without significant erosion will help us to differentiate this from a psoriatic arthritis which also causes some sort of ankylosis now other important feature is involvement of the distal interphalangeal joint which will also which is also seen in case of the psoriatic arthritis uh, the proximal and distal interphalangeal joint with sparing of the metacarpophalangeal joint involvement is also seen in psoriatic arthritis but the absence of periosteitis, absence of periosteitis is one feature which is not in favor of psoriatic arthritis having the carpal involvement, the classical type of carpal involvement is seen here that is the pericapitate type of involvement that is one classical feature second thing is there is no much of erosions and there may be slight ankylosis which can be present here this is how the first two images are a case of the still disease the second two images the lower two images are represent uh, in uh, in a patient this was seen in a patient who was having daily fever the patient was having daily fever plus there is a there is a, some history of rash in this patient so there is daily fever cotodian fever is present there is a evanescent rash then the patient is present with some sort of polyarthritis and adult patient in which we can see the pro, the proximal interphalangeal joint involvement with some sort of ankylosis in the distal interphalangeal joint and if you see the carpal bones uh, uh, there is some sort of uh, carpal bone involvement but not specifically pericapitate involvement not specifically uh, and it is also having some sort of erosions uh, though the ankylosis are not uh, that obvious there might be some ankylosis the classical sparing of the metacarpophalangeal joints so this all suggests that this can be a psoriatic arthritis or this can be even the stills disease but what helps us to differentiate uh, these two uh, things in this case is that the presence of daily fever and also uh, the evanescent rash in this patient other than that this can have all the features that we see in rheumatoid arthritis but only thing is here also we can see the ankylosis which is not seen there also the metacarpophalangeal joint is not as common as that we see in the rheumatoid arthritis so that is a case of